because you've been here for like almost two or three three days now. Yeah. How has been the visit so far? The visit so far has been amazing. Thank you so much, every single one of you to come here to put some time and effort. And it has been everything was amazing. I've been having a lot of fun. You are so welcoming and charming. So thank you for much, so much for receiving. I want to know because, well, we have a lot of my colleagues here will be asking me a lot of questions. But I want to start because I, one of the things that you've been busy since being Miss International, of course, Miss International Venezuela was your project called I Dream I Can, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. I'd like to know more about it and how, has it, how have you been, you know, um, promoting the program further when you won the title last year? Of course. I've been working a lot on um, trying to teach other girls and teenagers skills about social communication, also self-esteem, and how to deal with the project in their lives. That's also what I was doing on uh, I Dream I Can, a uh, Miss Venezuela organization helping me a lot of that, and also to create what I wanted to do in life. I think when I was five years from now, uh, before, I wasn't so sure of what I wanted to do. And given the girls and the kids, that, that tool or that opportunity to actually think, how can I do my dreams come true? It's a really powerful, really powerful project. So that's what I'm doing also in my master classes in Venezuela, in Colombia, and also in the U.S. Trying to put like a path so they can achieve their dreams. The other thing I want to know, because I'm sure you've seen um, similarities and differences here in the Philippines and Venezuela, and you know, one thing that kind of puts us together is our love for passion. We yes. love, I'm sure you've been here for quite a while now, you know what it is. I can see, I can see, I can tell. Yeah. Definitely have so much love for beauty patients as we do. Yeah. We also have so many words that we are in common. And that's what I told the other group that I was surprised we we have guapo, hermosa, eh, tenedor, buchara, eh, so many, so many. So there's not a, the only thing that we have in common. Definitely we have the like the good energy. Mm -hmm. uh, you are, as I said to the other group too, you are not like quiet people. <laughs> You're loud. You enter to a room and you are full of energy. You're not like, no, no. You are, hey, how are you? What's going on? Thank you. And you're really nice. So that's, it's okay. we have a lot of things in common that people have no idea we do have. I mean, what is your definition? When, when we talk about the standards of beauty, it has changed dramat drastically. So I want to know from your take as a title holder, how do you explain or talk to younger with younger children about, you know, being themselves in a time when you know social media is you know giving different types of beauty or like you have to look pretty look prettier and all of that stuff. Well I would definitely say that stereotypes was never uh, part of my standard of beauty. Um, I would definitely be someone different that won this Venezuela title and people were actually surprised when I won it because they are expected by Venezuela to be a lot taller and uh, bigger, longer legs. Mm -hmm. And you know that, that I don't know how to say forte, <laughs> that like uh, the walking that Miss Venezuela have. Sometimes people were like underestimated me because of that. And it's not just about your look. It's so much more than that. It's about what you have to give to the world. It's about your personality. It's about your intelligence. And I think beauty patients are changing a lot, and we have to change the way we see it too. Yes. Hello, Andrea. Um, so you have a special participation for beauty Filipinas on Sunday. So um, are you excited for it? Um, of course. I'm very excited for my participation in being the Filipina. I know it's going to be a bless being on the stage and to share that with a lot of 
beauty, beauty um, craft that has already like won a crown. So it's gonna be a good responsibility. I hope I had a lot of fun doing it because I know I will. And I hope you like the show a lot. And then you will be grounding the new Miss International Philippines. Um, what advice would you give to the new queen? For the new queen, I would definitely say just be yourself and try to enjoy this opportunity to be an, uh, an ambassador of Japan. And also that she's going to make the best experience of their life when they are in Japan. So work hard, be yourself, and be authentic. Maybe those are the tips. Um, so you said that you're going to have, um, the new queen is going to have the best experience. So for you personally, what is your most favorite part about the from the experience like the, when I was in Japan or um, uh, in general? Okay, well, visiting all the countries always is, is a bless. It's a bless because I never thought I would. Um, in, being in Venezuela, like taking a, a, a flight to um, Filipinas, it's not that easy. There were 26 hours, there were a lot of scales, so Definitely all these flights or all these travels and trips are the most amazing part of the experience. Of them. Um, I saw them doing the, the opening. So I saw them dancing, doing hair, giving hair, giving all the steps they had. And I had the opportunity to talk to them and they are really excited. They are very anxious and I I put myself into their spot and of course they are so it's like nerves that you don't know what is gonna happen. But I just told them to have fun to enjoy this once in a life experience. Thank you. Well, I'm Maria, and this is Leo from Life and Style Central. So uh, every year we we have our internal Miss International. Uh, for you, uh, as a Miss International 2023, uh, what do you mix different uh, among the queens of Miss International? My difference? Yes. I think we're all different from each other. We're different human beings. <laughs> Starting from that, with different experiences, different families, different culture, and that's the most beautiful thing about it. Um, I think and I believe that every single girl that won Miss International has been in a different experiences. Stephen, the last thing told me that one of them was a politic. Was it exactly? Uh, she didn't win, but she's now the mayor. Is the mayor of? The big city, Mexico. In Mexico, yeah. So, although some girls don't win the crown, also have this huge opportunity. So it's really beautiful to see the careers evolve and I think we're all so different from each other and that's the most beautiful thing about it. And uh, what do you really like uh, the most here in, in Manila? In, the, in, the in Manila, mm, I would definitely say the food is really good. Uh, I haven't met a lot of places because as you understand this is full work. <laughs> and I can tell the hotel it's beautiful and all of the people that is right beside me it's making me feel at home, make me make me feel really comfortable and trying to make this experience the best for me. So I'm I'm really happy for that and blessed for that. And how about the, the yesterday's uh, event from the charity? From, oh uh, the charity yes. was such a joy and um, we we were in Operation Smile that treats left palate in kids and it's really beautiful to see how change, they change lives. It's been part of the organization meeting in the Philippines for a long time so, so being there was such a joy and to see all the volunteers that want to change that kids lives are just was really impressive for me because I didn't knew that left pollen kids that once had suffered that also have really difficulties to speak. 
So they also have a long process uh, after the surgery to try to evolve their communication skills. So learning from all of that was, was really good and to have the opportunity to be with the kids was amazing. Thank you again, your main is about to end in a few months. Oh, uh, no, don't say that. <laughs> What's your wait, wait, wait. What? What's your biggest takeaway? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's your biggest takeaway so far? Or what have you learned as Miss International? Ooh, I've learned a lot, actually. Um, sometimes when people say, oh, you already win. You don't have to do anything. No, just relax. No, it's when actually the, the pressure is on. You have really to give everything you have to put the Miss International Organization in top and to make them feel proud, actually. I, I'm, I'm a person who always tries to do their best in every single field of their life. So this is not an exception. Um, I'm sad that you said that I have to give my crown. Um, I definitely, I'm gonna be wearing my crown even though I give it to another person because I still have that responsibility. I'm gonna be Miss International 2023 for the rest of my life. So the responsibility is gonna still with me. And the thing that is most over, like, whoa. Okay, um, the trips. Every single trip have like teach me a lot. I learn a lot from this, like this cultural exchange. Sometimes when you're on the bubble of your house, or the bubble of your city, you don't get the opportunity to meet the world. So this is a huge opportunity for me. So that's the most amazing experience. Fast forward, uh, what would be your message to the next Miss International? Well, to the next Miss International, Try not to get crazy with all the Instagram comments and all the, you know, the craziness that happens with social media. I think there are more important things than that. And to be focusing on giving the best for the organization, to be focused on giving the best and all the tricks to put the organization in the best way. And always be respectful in every single trip and learn a lot, girl. You're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, here, uh, this is a uh, pop up question. Uh, okay. Uh, they say that uh, an impact of age or of age is based on this, uh, their connection of social media. Do you think like that? Definitely no. No, no. It has nothing to do with that. I think the, the girl just. It's, the life not just about social media. There's so much more than that. Even though social media is. Uh, or like a communication way right? to be like connected with each other. It's not the only way. Like when you're actually there with people meeting, it's it's a totally different experience. So no, I don't think that's the most important thing about it. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you. Hi, this is Alex from Five Philippines. Yeah, as you travel around the world, what has been the most impactful project that you have made to the community and how has it made a difference to you and to the rest of the Billy Queens? Well, for me to see the importance that beauty pageants are and also the beauty pageants of Venezuela, in my country, uh, they put us in a place that, oh, Mises are just so perfect. Mises are just uh, never do anything wrong. And for me, it's to show people we're all human, we all make mistakes. And putting down a little bit that, um, like, how can I say it in English? Um, force. Like, to be forced to be perfect. No, no, we're not forced to be person. perfect. We're forced to be the best we can. And trying to put that a little bit lower, that you have to be the queen perfectly, um, that, that they expect a lot from you. No, you're a human, I'm 25 years old, I'm still growing, I still have a lot to learn, and when you actually put that, that, put that mask out, they 
they connect more to you and it's it's been beautiful. And yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest misconception with Miss International that you've heard? Well, I've heard a lot. And, well, for me, when when they found me Miss Venezuela International, they were like, no, Andra is not going to make it because she's too loudy, she's too short, she's have an extrovert uh, personality. It definitely was not my case. Oh, Steven, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was not my case. What do you say today? I'm the anti antithesis of all Miss International. I'm the antithesis of all the Miss International, and I'm here to prove. <laughs> no, I'm here to prove that every single girl, also, if they work hard, they can be Miss International too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, again, this is Alex from Fab Philippines. Um, I'm actually hesitant of asking this question. How do you see the future of Miss International evolving, especially in today's global context of diversity and inclusivity? I think Miss International is in the mo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the most strongest place right now. I do believe that it has been a path that they try to keep their traditions and their roots so much that it's part of the privilege of being this international. It's going to grow every single time more and more. And this year we have 80 oops, 74 candidates. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's going to be huge. And every single time, more countries are going to put like their vision on Miss International because it's a really beautiful movie. Thank you. I just, before, before I turn over to the, to the next one, I just want to ask something very fun because, you know, being a title holder also for you, uh, on you, it's also putting a little bit of spotlight on your family. So how has your family kind of adjusted to the attention that, you know, every, for example, when you're, uh, when you're in Venezuela, like people will just sometimes go up to you and in how have they adjusted to that spot, little spot that they put on? No, they're really happy. I think it was harder at the beginning when I, like tried to do it in Miss Venezuela the first time I entered. It was harder because my mom was in social media and they put comments on me and she started getting nuts and oh my god, oh, you look at these comments and I was like, okay, family, stop. We're gonna have a conversation right now. So this is happening. People is gonna say horrible things about me. They're gonna about, talk about my look. They're gonna talk about I'm not doing things wrong and you're not gonna listen. And if they say it and you know it, don't tell me because you're gonna make my brain go crazy. There are so many comments, so many people saying whatever they want and uh, really no respect at all. So now they are like so much better than what it was at the beginning because they are learning. They are also learning from this experience, just like me. They're my family, they want the best for me too. So they get worried sometimes. Yes. But no, like they, now they totally understand every single comment, they don't say anything to me. They understand that this is part of the profession, the negativity, like Shakira also received negativity. So. Like this is just a little bit of the part of getting like uh, being a like a public figure. Yeah. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs>